NASA has developed several plans to prepare for this future, with a commercial space station being its top priority. However, one of its most anticipated projects, the Axiom Space Station, is now facing significant challenges due to issues with its subcontractor, Axiom Space. These complications could jeopardize NASA's entire plan. So what exactly is going on? Can SpaceX step in and be NASA's savior again? We find out in today's episode of NR Studio. Earlier this year, progress on HAB-1, the first module of the Axiom Space Station, showed significant progress. Axiom Space and its partner Thales Elenia Space announced that they were nearing completion of the module's pressure vessel, hull, and enclosure. The subsystems are still under development, and Axiom Space is confident the module will launch on time in 2026. When the company was founded in 2016, it initially planned to launch the first module in 2020, but that schedule was pushed back to 2024, then 2025 with the latest target set for late 2026. After the 2026 launch of HAB-1 in 2026, three additional modules are expected to follow in the coming years, with the goal of separating from the International Space Station before its retirement, which is expected to occur around 2031. However, that schedule could be accelerated as Russia looks to end its operations in 2028, increasing the urgency of Axiom. With the deadline looming, Axiom Space is now facing significant cash flow issues, former employees said. One of the main reasons for the financial strain is the management of $140 million in funding provided by NASA. Axiom spent $117.4 million of that with Thales Alenia Space to develop the first two modules. This leaves the company with little funding to meet future challenges. When the contract was signed, both parties were still planning a launch in 2024 instead of 2025, but the delay has led to increased losses and strain on resources. Another factor contributing to Axiom's financial woes is the company's aggressive hiring strategy. By the end of 2022, Axiom had hired up to 800 people to develop its systems, earning a whopping $10 million a month in salaries. Unfortunately, the returns on these investments have not been commensurate with the outlay. Additionally, Axiom Space received a $228 million contract in 2022 for Axiom Space Suits for use on Artemis III. However, in order to fulfill this contract, Axiom had to move personnel away from the space station project, which also slowed progress on the construction of the space station modules. In addition to financial issues, Axiom Space has had to make difficult decisions by cutting salaries and laying off staff including key personnel such as co-founder Michael Sufredini. These internal problems have been exacerbated by late payments to partners, including a $670 million debt to SpaceX. This amount covers the cost of four Axiom missions designed to send astronauts to the ISS for research and training for future space station operations. To address these financial difficulties, Axiom Space has attempted to raise capital by targeting wealthy individuals even selling seats to future Axiom astronauts. However, this approach has failed to generate significant interest, resulting in little success in fundraising. All of these challenges have culminated in the inability to manufacture unplanned space station modules, making it increasingly difficult to complete construction before the ISS is dismantled. Given these issues, Axiom Space has been forced to consider significantly reducing the scope of the project, planning to go from four modules to just two. The original Axiom space station design called for one and two to alternate, housing a total of eight astronauts, four per module. Alongside the research and production module, a dedicated research and power module with solar panels for power. If the new plan is approved, Axiom space could also build an operational station with a service module and a power module, ensuring the station can be completed before leaving the ISS. However, this reduction would mean the crew size would be halved and the research and production module would not be launched. This is clearly a significant disappointment for NASA and Axiom Space, given Ampish's initial expectations. And other commercial space station projects backed by NASA are also facing challenges. The Orbital Reef project has been troubled by a conflict between Blue Origin and Sierra Space. The progress of the two companies has varied widely, with Sierra Space making significant progress with its inflatable needle system, while Blue Origin's mainframe has not made as much progress as expected. 
This stagnation is largely due to Blue Origin's focus on its new Glenn rocket, which is not expected to launch until November of this year at the earliest. Meanwhile, the Starlab project led by Voyager Space also appears to be losing positive progress, raising new concerns about the viability of NASA's commercial space station plans. The most promising initiative right now is the VAST space station, which operates outside of NASA's commercial space station program and is scheduled to launch next year. This situation highlights the irony of NASA's predicament, as its vision for a robust commercial space station system becomes disjointed. What do you think about the challenges of the Axiom space station? Should NASA reconsider this ineffective project? Answer yes or no in the comments. Like, share the video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's progress. Whatever NASA decides, it clearly needs SpaceX's help. Axiom Space continues to rely on SpaceX to support its primary missions. To date, three Axiom missions have successfully flown, demonstrating SpaceX's reliability and operational experience. Moving forward, SpaceX's role remains critical to Axiom Space and NASA. The fourth and fifth Axiom missions planned for next year will still be launched by SpaceX, further strengthening the collaboration between the two. Axiom Space has not yet announced a launch partner for the station's modules, but it appears that only SpaceX, with its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, has the speed and reliability needed to support it in this critical phase. Once construction is complete, operational maintenance of the station, such as equipment provisioning and refueling, will be critical. Given SpaceX's extensive experience in refueling the ISS, they appear to be the best choice for the task, ensuring the Axiom space station remains operational and fully functional. Another interesting potential support for the Axiom space station comes from SpaceX's Starlink system. This year, it was revealed that the vast space station was integrating Starlink, a move that could significantly improve its communications capabilities. The effectiveness of Starlink has been proven on Earth and in space, most notably during the recent Polaris Dawn mission. By integrating this satellite internet system, the Axiom Space Station could significantly improve its operational efficiency, even if its initial structure did not match previous expectations. While there is still uncertainty about the launch schedule of these stations due to recent issues, SpaceX's impact on the Axiom Space Station is undeniable. Additionally, SpaceX's role extends to other NASA initiatives. In addition to the Axiom Space Station, SpaceX has been selected to launch Starlab, led by Voyager Space. While the status of Starlab remains uncertain, its ability to operate will depend heavily on SpaceX's ability to ensure the success of its missions. We also have to consider Orbital Reef, another ambitious commercial space station project. If Sierra Space decides to abandon this initiative, it will need a reliable launch vehicle. The company has discussed the possibility of acquiring ULA, but the timing of that acquisition is unclear. Until these issues are resolved, SpaceX seems the most likely support option. The combination of Sierra Space and SpaceX could create a strong partnership. The inflatable module concept deserves a more dynamic execution than Orbital Reef currently offers, and SpaceX's resources could help make this vision a reality. Additionally, SpaceX is also set to launch the space station next year. While not part of an official NASA program, its successful launch could garner NASA's interest, opening up opportunities for future collaborations or partnerships. Furthermore, SpaceX has proposed converting its massive starship into a space station. This innovative idea could simplify many processes, reduce costs, and increase operational efficiency. Using the capabilities of the starship, SpaceX could potentially create a self-sustaining habitat in space, overcoming some of the logistical challenges associated with traditional space station designs. Overall, SpaceX's continued development and potential contributions position it as a central player in the future of space exploration, not only for the Axiom space, but also for NASA and the broader commercial space landscape. In conclusion, we could once again see SpaceX step in to bail NASA out of a sticky situation. NASA-initiated projects face significant challenges, especially with the current issues surrounding the Axiom Space Station. Issues such as poor coordination and inadequate contractor capacity pose a real threat to NASA's future presence in space. In such circumstances, NASA will likely turn to SpaceX for help, as it has done in the past.
While it is difficult to predict how many commercial space stations will emerge in the coming years, I believe the success of any ISS endeavor will depend heavily on SpaceX's contributions. This situation raises a common question. Why is SpaceX so dominant in the aerospace industry? And that, my friend, is one of the answer keys. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode. See you in the next episode.